ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rest on Arsenal and the Army Materiel Command's parade field, where today the U.S. Army Security Assistance Command will conduct a change of responsibility ceremony in which the outgoing Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Dana S. Mason, Jr., will relinquish responsibility to Command Sergeant Major Gene E. Canada. At this time, Please allow me to extend a special welcome to some of our distinguished guests that we have with us today. We are honored to have with us today Mrs. Debbie Farman, wife of our host, Major General Stephen E. Farman. Other officers, senior enlisted soldiers, and our great civilian workforce, a special thanks to all who came to witness this change of responsibility. A warm welcome to all of you. Before the official party enters, I would like to provide a brief overview of the mission and organization of USASAC. The United States Army Security Assistance Command implements approved U.S. Army security assistance programs, including foreign military sales of defense articles and services to eligible foreign governments. Security assistance has been part of international relations for as long as man has been engaging in war. Even the American War of Independence was supported by military assistance from France. Initially, the United States focused on foreign relations for only commercial interest, but the safety of the country and its allies needed a policy of greater scope. In the 20th century, our security was challenged, and we found ourselves participating in a growing international munitions trade. The Truman Doctrine in 1947 set the pattern for security assistance to help war-ravaged nations economically and to foster democratic ideals, Congress passed the Marshall Plan in 1948, which became a model for, distribu for distributing foreign aid. The U.S. Army played a major role in that effort. The origins of this command date back to 1965, when the functions of supply maintenance and logistics merged at the former New Cumberland Army Depot to evolve under several name changes and organizational designations into which we know today as the United States Army Security Assistance Command. USASAC, headquartered at rest on Arsenal and with the support of the entire AMC family, leads the United States Army Material Command Security Assistance Enterprise and manages the life cycle of security assistance programs and foreign military sales cases to build partner capacity, support combatant command engagement strategies, and to strengthen U.S. global partnerships. Today, USASAC manages more than 5,300 FMS cases valued at more than $172 billion for a wide variety of material, services, and training in support of our country's national security objectives. The command also plays a critical role in supporting U.S. government emergency assistance, humanitarian relief, and operations other than war programs, including United Nations peacekeeping operations. After more than 50 years of growth and change, the U.S. Army Security Assistance Command remains proud to be known as USASAC, the Army's face to the world. At this time, I would like to introduce the other participants in today's ceremony. Today's color guard is provided by the U.S. Army Security Assistance Management Organization from Fort Bragg, North Carolina. The color guard NCOIC is Sergeant First Class Promotable Timothy Shepard. The color sergeant is Sergeant First Class Promotable Rodney Kendrick. Our music today is provided by the U.S. Army Material Command Band under the direction of First Sergeant Daniel J. Shannon. The presence of the colors at the center of the formation represents their presence at the front of the unit during the heat of battle. Since the days of the American Revolution, flag bearers have been an important element in ceremonies as soldiers adjust their position and formation by dressing on the colors. At the center of today's formation and bearing our national colors, is the U.S. Army Security Assistance Training Management Organization Color Guard. Ladies and gentlemen, continue to main, remain standing. Oh, I, you guys have sat down, I'm sorry. Please rise again for the arrival of the official party, rendering of honors, the national anthem, and the invocation by Sergeant Major Alden C. Wooten. 
Our host for today's ceremony is Major General Stephen E. Farman, Commanding General of the United States Army Security Assistance Command. He is accompanied by the second Command Sergeant Major of the United States Security Assistance Command, Dana S. Mason, Jr., the outgoing Sergeant Major, and Command Sergeant Major Gene E. Canada, the incoming Sergeant Major. Attachment for the oh. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love grace and mercy that you provide for us every day and night. Lord, continue to bless our military, our chain of command and leaders. Give them direction, hope, and a renewed sense of purpose. Please remind us to turn to you for help and comfort. Thank you for being with us today during this change of responsibility ceremony between Command Sergeant Major Dana S. Mason, Jr. and Command Sergeant Major Gene E. Canada. Bless Command Sergeant Major Mason and his family as they transition to their next assignment. And as Command Sergeant Major Mason turns over his duties and responsibilities to Command Sergeant Major Canada. Lord, continue to provide your shield of protection for Command Sergeant Major Mason 
and his family. Bless Command Sergeant Major Canada and his family as they begin a new chapter in their lives here at Redstone Arsenal, Alabama. We pray that you will strengthen and guide each one of them as they move forward to do your will. Bless our leaders, our troops, family members, DA civilians, and contractors throughout Redstone Arsenal and our country. Thank you for your continued love, comfort, and hope. In his loving name, all things we pray. Amen. and incoming Command Sergeant Major spouses is an ongoing ceremonial tradition. At this time, a bouquet of red roses is presented by Captain Christopher Fields to Miss Javonka Mason, the daughter of Command Sergeant Major Mason. And now a bouquet of yellow rosebuds representing the beginning of new relationships soon to be realized in the command and the community is being presented by Captain James Green to the spouse of Command Sergeant Major Canada, Mrs. LaWanda Green. The official party will now take the field for the passing of the colors. The custodian of the USASAC colors is Command Sergeant Major Mason. When the colors are not displayed for the commanding general, the colors are always in the care of the Command Sergeant Major. Throughout history, military leaders have often used a visible symbol of authority around which to rally their command. The organizational colors embody the spirit and essence of the unit. The ceremonial passing of the organizational colors has existed in our Army since the days of General George Washington. Today, the passing of the USASAC colors symbolize the transfer of responsibility for the unit from Command Sergeant Major Mason to Command Sergeant Major Canada. The passing of the unit colors from Command Sergeant Major Mason to Major General Farman represents his final act of service to his commander. The passing of the unit's colors from Major General Farman to Command Sergeant Major Canada represents his trust and confidence in passing the responsibility for the command to Command Sergeant Major Canada. Acceptance of the unit's colors by Command Sergeant Major Canada symbolizes the Command Sergeant Major's allegiance to the commander. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commanding General of the United States Army Security Assistance Command, Major General Stephen E. Farman. Well, good afternoon, everybody. And a glorious afternoon it is. Uh, we are in Armed Forces Week, uh, so we're getting ready to celebrate our nation's birthday coming up here on the 4th of July. And did the weather not turn out perfect for this great event that we have here today for these two Command Sergeant Majors? Just simply outstanding. And most thankfully, in light of events this morning, thankful, at least to everything that I've heard, nobody was hurt. Uh, and that is just great news for the Team Redstone family here. Uh, and I'm very, very happy that we were able to continue to proceed with this ceremony so important for our organization and for these two fine leaders over here to my left, and thank you all for coming out here. Distinguished guests, friends, members of Team USASAC, it is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to today's Change of Responsibility Ceremony. I'd like to thank you all for coming to share this moment with us. A change of responsibility is a significant moment 
of transition for any unit. Fundamentally, as the narrator described in so many words, with the transfer of the colors, the unit's legacy is passed as a building block for future performance and achievement. For a purpose this important, it is entrusted to the command sergeant's major to be the keeper of the colors, the standard bearer. In him and through him, the bloodlines and the DNA of the lineage and history of the unit are protected and the intangibles of loyalty, trust, and teamwork are kept and run deep. Yet this change of responsibility is significant on multiple levels, not only for marking a period of transition for our team USASAC, but for Command Sergeant Major Mason, this triggers his transition to another CSM opportunity within the AMC team of teams with Surface Deployment and Distribution Command SDDC, and the privilege of continuing to lead and serve and serve uh, AMC in our Army. For Command Sergeant Major Canada, it triggers a new opportunity to continue leading, serving, and making a difference for our Army and now Team USASAC. In all counts, both Command Sergeants Majors have worked very hard to be standing here today. For Command Sergeant Major Mason, we have been incredibly fortunate to have a leader of his character and competence serving as the keeper of our colors and as my battle buddy. Command Sergeant Major Mason was here before I got here, and I was truly honored to assume the privilege of command with a leader of Command Sergeant Major Mason's caliber already in place. From the beginning, it was clearly evident that Command Sergeant Major Mason was the kind of leader who cares and leads from the front. As soon as you see Command Sergeant Major Mason, you think that is what a CSM should look like. His impeccable military bearing and relentless pursuit and expectations of high standards resonates through him to all the people he touches. Command Sergeant Major Mason always pitched to his strengths, making it a point to link into our security assistance teams on point in over 40 countries, either permanently assigned or conducting mobile training teams in support of COCOM mission sets. I have been immensely impressed with his mature experience, expertise, sage counsel, and caring, compassionate concern for our people and the readiness of our entire organization. Our command is predominantly made up of DA civilians, and our footprint extends globally as well. Yet, Command Sergeant Major Mason deftly served and made clear to all that he is the workforce Command Sergeant Major, and he took this responsibility to care for the health and welfare of our dispersed formation seriously. He has proven he is well equipped to adapt his style and leadership focus to enhance readiness regardless the nature of the formation and those who serve in it. As he takes his talents to SDDC, he and Michelle will certainly be missed, but leave knowing they made a positive impact and are sure to make similar impacts at SDDC in the years to come. I want to acknowledge his daughter, Javanka, here with us today, who is a senior at University of Alabama, Birmingham. How about a big round of applause for Javanka? She's here representing the rest of the Mason clan, if you will. Uh, not here, but with us in spirit. Uh, their two daughters, Jocelyn, who's 25 and living in Fayetteville, North Carolina, Sinka, who's 22 at Georgia State, and Dana the Fourth, who's 23 at Georgia Southern. And of course, Michelle is, is a reservist, so she's actually on active duty right now, uh, taking care of missions in that respect. Debbie and I want to extend our personal thanks to you and Michelle for your great support, trust, friendship, and teamwork. We look forward to seeing you both in the future as we remain on the same AMC team in transition. All the best to you and your new assignment. Thank you both for your service, and please stay in touch. And now it is time to turn our lens to another stellar leader to build on the lineage of former USASAC senior enlisted advisors and now budding generation of USASAC Command Sergeant Majors. Command Sergeant Major Canada is every bit as talented and qualified as Command Sergeant Major Mason. He comes with esteemed credentials, an impeccable reputation, and an outstanding level of performance built over a 30-year career, all of which have brought Command Sergeant Major Canada to this moment. 
He is definitely ready. Only the best of the best reach this privilege and opportunity to serve and make a positive difference. I have every bit of trust and confidence in Command Sergeant Major Canada in this regard. Command Sergeant Major Canada and I have not served together before, but the moment I interviewed him, we connected, and I knew he was the right person and leader to serve as the Command Sergeant Major of Team USASAC and as my new battle buddy. For this reason, I am pumped and enthused that it worked out the way it did. This is an important time for our Army and nation in light of world affairs and our ability to build strategic readiness and partner capacity with our international mission partners is more important now than ever. I am so excited to get the opportunity to serve with Command Sergeant Major Canada as my battle buddy during this important time. Command Sergeant Major Canada lives Army values in all he does and is the consummate professional who earns everyone's respect and admiration through his conduct and actions. The fact is, he is known for making a difference and making things better wherever he leads and serves. Just a quick look at his bio shows you he has all the right stuff and right experiences to make him the difference maker our team deserves. Team USASAC is fortunate to have a leader of Command Sergeant Major Canada's caliber to represent them and resonate the spirit of our team as we stay true to operationalizing ourselves to be laser focused on meeting the Chief of Staff of the Army's priorities and COCOM requirements. Debbie and I want to welcome you in what we are sure is the real backbone of your success, your family. And we have with us today his wife, Lawanda, and their four children, but one of their children with us today, that's Shalice, who's their daughter, who's 16, and will be attending high school here loyal, uh, locally. How about a big round of applause for those two? And not here with them, but certainly part of the family, uh, integral, uh, are their two sons, Devon, 24, and Darian, 19, and daughter, Armani, who's 22, and all are attending college in San Antonio. Thanks for all you have done to inspire Command Sergeant Major Canada along the way so he could get to this point. We know what that takes. And we are all excited to have Team Canada at the helm of our USASAC team of teams. Command Sergeant Major Canada, it is now your time and opportunity to continue building on the great legacy of excellence embedded in USASAC as we look towards the future with great optimism. We welcome you and your family and know you are looking forward with great anticipation to the challenges that lay ahead. Once again, I want to thank everyone for coming. I also want to just acknowledge before I step off our color guard, how about a big round of applause for them? They look great out there. And uh, in closing, I just want to say, as we say in Team USASAC, trust plus teamwork equals strength and cooperation. Thank you, and Army Strong. Ladies and gentlemen, Second Command Sergeant Major of the United States Army Security Assistance Command, Command Sergeant Major Dana S. Mason, Jr. Good afternoon, everybody. All right, Major General Farman, Ms. Farman, Chief, distinguished guests, other Command Sergeant Major Sergeant Majors, and honored guests, soldiers, civilians of Redstone Arsenal, and uh, I want to give a special thanks to my daughter as well, my battle buddy, my, my ride or die daughter, rode down from Illinois with me to keep me awake during the drive. Thank you, baby. I appreciate you. Hey, today for me is about thanks to the team and welcome the Canada family to USASAC and Redstone Arsenal. So first off, I want to thank God for without him, none of this would have been possible. To the workforce, which includes all my command teams, all the G sections, just the entire workforce. There's too many people to thank, so I can't go by name, so I'm just going to thank the whole workforce. Entering this job two and a half years ago, I told you the accomplishments of this organizational mission and welfare of its soldiers, civilians, and Army families will always be my top priority. I told you also that I had no hidden agenda. My commander's priorities were my priorities. 
to serve as a competent professional, treat people the way you want to be treated, with dignity and respect, and understand that the Army is a profession of arms that is based on standards and discipline that officers, NCOs, and civilians are charged to enforce. I tried my best to live up to those standards. I hope I did not let you down. My journey here was far from a one-man show. It is not lost on me that the hard work and dedication of my former soldiers has catapulted me to all my successes throughout my career. However, seeing that this is the first time that I've been given the opportunity and privilege to serve so closely with our DA civilians and contractors, I have been truly impressed. You guys are great professionals. Without your steadfast support and dedication to the commander and myself, this organization will be dead in the water. Thank you for your support. You are, the, in addition, you are the fuel that makes this engine run. Thank you for all you have done and what you will continue to do for the team use of To the AMC leadership, General Vi, Command Sergeant Major Sims, General Perna, and Command Sergeant Major Masker. Thank you for your guidance and mentorship throughout my tenure as the USASAC Command Sergeant Major. No doubt I will continue to receive it as I am moving only to SD SDDC and will remain on Team AMC. To the headquarters section, Mr. Moore, Colonel Fuller, Colonel Chambers, Captain Green, Captain Fields, Rose, Rosie, Brenda, Kurt, Candace, Sandy, Nancy, and special thanks to my EAs, Kim and Terry. It has been a pleasure to serve with you each and every day during my tenure as a USAC Command Sergeant Major. When the Mason family was going through some dark times last year, you all really stepped up to assist my family through those trials and tribulations. For that, I will be forever grateful and thankful for your prayers. To my battle buddies, luckily I had two of them. First off, uh, General McDonald, even though he's not here. First and foremost, thank you for selecting me to serve as your command sergeant major. I recognize that it is a privilege to serve our nation as a soldier, but to have been, to have been given the opportunity to serve as a member of a, of a command team at the nominative level, I am truly humbled and grateful. As you know, transition happens in the military, and I was blessed to inherit another great battle buddy, Major General Farman. Sir, thank you for your trust and confidence you showed in me. I will always appreciate the fact that your doors were always open and you took the time to hear my concerns, good, bad, or indifferent. Sir, it has been an honor to serve with you and see you work up close and personal. You have a very unique skill set, and being around you, sir, has made me a better nominative command sergeant major. As the Army transition and goes through its current challenges, Major General Farman has definitely selected the right person to move, in, move USASAC forward. I was given a solid foundation to build upon by Command Sergeant Major Mansker. Hopefully, I have moved the ball forward a little during my tenure. Command Sergeant Major Canada, the baton is yours now, brother. Run with it and have fun. To the Canada family, welcome to Team AMC and, and welcome to Redstone Arsenal. Last but definitely not least, I want to thank my wife of 26 years, Michelle, and our wonderful children, Javanka, Jocelyn, Daniel IV and Sin K for supporting me once again as I moved to another job and asked Michelle to pick up the pick up to support my dreams again. Four moves in five years is a lot, and you did it without missing a beat. The family is truly the strength of our soldiers. Thank you, and I love you all. I look forward to the challenges I will have at SDDC. Army strong, strength and cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, the third command sergeant major of the United States Army Security Assistance Command, Command Sergeant Major Gene E. Canada. Hey, uh, first of all, a uh, color guard, and, and sir, if you don't mind, go ahead and, and unseat, your um, unseat your colors. Go ahead, unseat your colors. As well as the guards as well, go ahead, go to pray rest. I, won't, I promise you I won't be long. Uh, and I really do appreciate this opportunity. Uh, first of all, uh, good morning. What a great day to be a soldier and an Army professional. 
It's an outstanding day uh, to be out in this great place of Huntsville, Alabama, here in Redstone. And I truly do appreciate the uh, warm welcome of all those individuals here in this great organization. I would like to begin by thanking God. I've learned uh, a long time ago that through God all things are possible, and I think that's very important. And, and, and you need, I, I believe that this is true to my heart, that it starts with God and, and, and it finishes with God. General Farman, Mrs. Farman, Command Sergeant Major Mason, leaders, distinguished guests, and the USASAC family and friends, thank you for attending today's ceremony. It's a truly an honor to be standing out here before you today, and I truly do appreciate that. The color guards, you do look outstanding. Let's give them a, a one more round of applause. A, a special thanks goes out to my lovely bride of over 25 years, uh, Miss Lawanda Canada, let me correct the record, and our children for their constant support. Uh, it's multiple moves and multiple uh, deployments. They've always been steadfast and loyal to, to the cause. I would also like to recognize our a AMC teammates. Under the leadership of General Perner and Command Sergeant Major Mansker, AMC is the standard bearer of the Army and serves at the tip of the spear ensuring our material readiness. And I look forward to working with those individuals as well. General Farman, it is an honor being your newest battle buddy, sir. I truly appreciate this opportunity to be a member of such an outstanding group of dedicated Army professionals who are passionate about enabling strategic readiness, building partnership capacity, involving forward in taking care of our, our soldiers, our people, and developing them as well, sir. So I really do appreciate this opportunity. Mrs. Farman, Lawanda and I uh, truly appreciate uh, the way you welcomed us to the uh, USASAC family and look forward to being, uh, meeting you and, and our further uh, engagements with you as well, ma'am. Thanks. USASAC teammates, the work you do is awesome. You tackle the big projects and are truly the Army's face to the world. The dedication you show to our Army in such a complex and dynamic environment is first rate. I truly am looking forward to meeting and getting to know the entire team, our soldiers as well as all our partners and our Army professionals throughout, throughout the world. Command Sergeant Major Mason, it's been an honor. You're a true professional. You set the standards and I, and I, plan, I, I hope to build upon those standards that you set for this team. Uh, you, you, you and your family are a great Army family and you are passionate about what, you, your craft. I wish you and your family the best of luck. Keep in touch. If you need something, please give us a call, and we're always here for you. So in closing, I would like to say to all, once again, thank you for this great opportunity. I look forward to being part of this great team. Strength and cooperation, Army strong, and God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the Army song and the retirement of the colors. The words to the Army song may be found on the back of your program.
You are invited to congratulate and bid farewell to Command Sergeant Major in the USASAC lobby, and you are also invited to a reception to congratulate and welcome Command Sergeant Major Canada at the receiving line located in the Great Hall of the third floor of the USASAC headquarters. Thank you for attending today's ceremony.